history of the Newman Center at Minnesota State University officially began in 1921 when Miss Margaret Blewett, a professor at the Mankato State Teachers College, began a Newman Club like the one she had encountered as a student. The Newman Club eventually acquired a house near the university and the ministry began to grow. In 1957, the Newman Club reached new heights under the leadership of the beloved Father Paul Halloran, who was the first resident priest and served the mission for 20 years. The ministry experienced rapid growth, and after an extensive fundraising campaign in 1961, Father Halloran began construction on a large two-story building located on Lower Campus and renamed the club the St. Thomas More Catholic Newman Center. Ten years after the new building was constructed, Mankato State expanded entirely to the upper campus, leaving the Newman Center with no choice but to sell the beautiful facility that Father Halloran built and move up the hill with the university. After selling the facility, Father Gerald Conway purchased a house across the street from campus. It is there that the Newman Center would spend the next 30 years. In the 1980s, the ministry flourished under the ever-popular ministry team of Father Joe Fogel and Sister Joyce Colbert. They built up a thriving ministry through inspiring liturgies and involvement on campus. Moving into the 1990s, the Diocese of Winona hired Sidel McCabe, the first layperson to direct the Newman Center. It was under her leadership that the ministry continued to flourish into the new millennium. Several chaplains were assigned to assist, and in 2001, Father Tim Beeren joined Sidel in team ministry. During their time working together, the Newman Center saw exceptional growth in participation from the students on campus. In 2008, Father Tim succeeded Sidel as the director of the Newman Center. As the ministry progressed, Father Tim felt called to build a new Newman Center that would serve Father Paul Halloran's original vision, a more conducive space for students to encounter the Lord. By the grace of God and thanks to many generous benefactors, this dream became a reality and the current Newman Center opened its doors in the fall of 2015. Father Jason Curran succeeded Father Tim Beeren before becoming the Vocations Director for the Diocese in 2017. It was then that our current director, Father Andrew Vogel, assumed the role. Over the years, the Newman Center has become the largest student organization at Minnesota State University, Mankato. Today, more than 600 students are encountered each week. 250 students are involved in Bible studies. On average, 200 students attend bi-weekly large group events. We have 53 student leaders in discipleship. 12 Catholic MAV alumni from the past eight years are currently in the seminary or religious life. And in the past five years, over 200 students have gone on mission trips and pilgrimages to serve the poor and deepen their faith. As we reflect on 100 years of ministry, let's take a look at a few of the lives that have been transformed by the mission today. The Catholic faith was always a part of my life. I grew up going to a Catholic high school, um, summer camps, things like that. We would go to church most of the time, but beyond that, like I didn't really have a very personal relationship with God. I sort of did what I want. I followed what everyone else did. I, I partied, I did what everyone else was doing. Yeah, I didn't grow up having, you know, a relationship with the Lord and um, didn't really know what that looked like either. I always just kind of felt like there was something missing and you keep looking for like the next step, but it really never, it never satisfies you. There's just a real lack of joy in the world and you can see it so much on campus. I mean, people are looking for Christ. No one is really, if you ask anyone honestly, they would not say they're happy. I knew a lot about God, but I didn't really know God. I started to have that like longing and desire in my heart for um, more of a relationship with God. When I came to college, I knew I wanted to find that community, that Catholic community that I could kind of rely on and people that had the similar beliefs as I did. 
we came to the Thanksgiving dinner that fall, my freshman year, and I met Courtney Potter, and she immediately was like, come to seek. And I felt very called to like, go and encounter the Lord there. But everybody that I was with was kind of like, that sounds really lame. And so I was like, oh yeah, that definitely sounds really lame. I walked into our student center and like the first booth was the Newman Center's booth. And just all these people, it's like, hi, welcome. When I was eating in the student union, this big guy comes up to me and turned out to be Mort, the former missionary here. And he was talking to me and, you know, I was pretty uh, checked out of my faith at that point um, after high school and he had kind of invited me to the Newman Center. Actually, one of my buddies said, oh, you have to go to the Newman Center. Father Vogel is a great priest, really funny. So I'm like, okay, then I should go. And I ended up joining a Bible study. I ended up coming to daily mass. I ended up going to adoration when I could. And, and I, I never left, you know, it was, there was a family here. And then the next day, I go to class, and Courtney Potter is sitting in, directly in front of me. So I waited for her after class, and I told her, like, sorry I didn't say it last night because I was just nervous because of the people that I was with, but actually I think it's really cool and I want to go. And so she immediately kind of took me under her wing. Two weeks later, um, I had a girl reach out to me. Her name's Jackie Widener, and she invited me to coffee. It was really nice to have someone actually, not just have small talk, but actually really wanted to get to know my heart. And she asked me about my faith and was super um, understanding of where I was. And it was really comforting to have someone in that same experience um, to walk with me. The most meaningful thing to me here is the ability to grow closer to Christ with, with others. Because um, growing closer to Christ alone is, is hard, but the ability to do it with others and share that joy with others is, it's incredible. I mean, you, it's unparalleled. Coming to the Newman Center, it has helped shape the way I live, shape the way I speak, and shape the way I view everybody around me and this whole world around me in a completely different way in light of what Christ has done for us on the cross. Even my first night at one of the bonfires, um, I was able to connect with people who invited me not only just to the events, but just to hang out and get to know them and grow in community. And they were very intentional with their own hearts and giving part of their hearts to me in order to draw me in to this community and eventually like closer to Christ. Only Christ will make me happy. But being able to share Christ with others is even greater. It's even more than just having Christ living in my heart. What makes the Newman Center so special is that it provides a space for young people to be loved, to encounter authentic friendships, and to find greater meaning in their lives. When a young person finally realizes that their true identity lies in who they are as a beloved son or daughter of God, they find a greater joy, peace, and happiness. It is through the love that we share with one another here that we experience Jesus Christ, and that leads young people deeper into the mysteries of their faith. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your willingness to participate in this mission with us. Every single dollar that is invested in this place is an investment in the future of the Catholic Church. It is an investment in the miracle of a changed life. What an incredible honor it is for me to cross this milestone of a hundred years of great ministry at Minnesota State University, Mankato. It is truly an honor to serve in the footsteps of so many great pastors and leaders that have come before me. Here's to the next hundred years of lives being changed for the Lord.